Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and now I'm going to show you how to make these circular colorful seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done like I did a bracelet matching these earrings and I'm linking to it here at the eye icon. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, I have a full list of materials, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and also Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. So you could check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are eight colors of 11 0 seed beads. Here I use ear wires and this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here. And I'm going to slide those down. Almost until the end of this row, I will stick my needle in my mat. And here I want to make a knot. And I'm making here a knot by making a loop. Going twice through the loop I've made. Pull. And I will make one more knot. And pull again. Okay guys, now this is what I have. And I will go here to the next two beads. And I will start my next row. And for my next row, I need three yellows. and one black bead and I'm going to slide those down now I'm going to skip this black bead I will go back through these three beads and in the following black okay now this is what I do And in my next step, I'm going to take the next flower here, which is orange. And I want my flowers to go gradually from one to another. That is why I'm taking close colors. This is light orange, the next one. Okay. And again, I'm skipping this black bead and going through these orange beads. And in the next black okay you see here I have something like a loop and this black holds my work okay in my next step I'm going to take three dark orange beads and one black I'm going to slide those down skip this black one and go through the orange beads It is all the same guys, okay? Then I'm going to take three red beads in my black one, okay? Slide all of those down. Skip these three red beads and go in the following black. Then I'm going to repeat backwards dark orange. light orange yellow again
And now I'm going in my greenish scale, okay? First light green, really light green. That perfectly goes and looks nice next to this yellow. Okay, and in my next black. Then the next green. I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm just showing you how I'm alternating the colors here. And then the darkest green. Then the one that's next to it. Okay. Skip this. And here I'm going in my last black where my knot is and it might be a little bit difficult. You could use your pliers if you need to. And now I will take my last light green that is next to the yellow. In fact, yellow is the transition between the orange red scale and the greenish scale and it looks really nice. Okay, then I'm going through all of my yellows like that and I want to exit through this black one here. Okay, now I have this. And now I'm going to take two black beads like this and I'm going in my next black one. In my next step I'm also going to take two black beads and go in my next black seed bead. Then I'm going to take two more black beads and go here and after that I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and I'm adding my last two black beads from this row and what I want to do next is reinforce my work and you see when I pull I have a slight bend to it and I like this bend so much. I think it's beautiful. Okay. And I will go around reinforcing my work, make it nice and tight. And when I reinforce it, I want to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm going here through some beads in this direction. And here I want to make a loop like this. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made, I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and then I will go in the following seed bead and what I do is that I cut here my tail thread and my main thread, okay? And now guys, the first element is ready and now I'm going to make three more elements and I will show you how I'm connecting them in a earring. Okay guys, and now I made three more elements and I have a new longer thread on my needle and I'm going to show you how I'm connecting them in an earring, okay? So in my first step, I'm taking this element and I'm going here through some beads at the edge. You see here I have a tail thread and I'm going to hold it with my finger here with my thumb 
And here I'm, I will make a knot by making here first a loop. And then I'm going once. And I'm going second time through this loop I've made. And I'm going to pull. Okay. Then in my next step, guys, I'm going here through some beads in this direction. Okay. I'm exiting here next to my yellow and to my light green bead. And I will go here in my next black bead, okay? And I'm going to take my other element and I'm going to turn it in this direction. Again, yellow and light green will be next to each other like this. You see? But the orange scale will be next to the green scale okay <clears throat> and now as i'm exiting after this yellow bead here i'm exiting next to this yellow i will also go through this bead that's between the yellow and the light green okay and And I'm going to connect this one to this one, okay? I'm going here through this black one and through the following. And then I'm going back through these two blacks. In fact, I'm making a loop between those two elements and connecting these two blacks with these two blacks, okay? And I will do the same thing with my next two black beads, okay? I'm exiting out of this black and I'm going here in this orange, next to this orange, I mean. Now, my first two elements are connected, like this. Then guys, in my next step, what I'm going to do is go through five beads in this direction. Okay, going through five beads, one, two, three, four, five, and pull. And in my next step, I'm going to take this element and I'm going to turn it in this direction, okay? And now I want to connect these two black beads between the orange and the yellow. with these two black beads that are between the light green and the dark green, okay? I'm connecting them like this. Then I go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay, and I will connect these two beads with these two beads. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six beads in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six beads. In this direction. like this and I will connect these two beads between the light green and the dark green with these two beads between the orange and the red, okay? I'm connecting them just like this okay 
Now guys, I will go through all of my beads here and I will connect my fourth element the same way I showed you. Here I will count found bead, five beads from this connection in this direction. I will connect it here and when I'm ready, I will back to tell you how to put your ear wire. Okay guys, and I just connected my fourth element the same way I showed you at this point you see here. And now I'm going to show you how to attach your ear wire. And what I do to attach it is that I go through all of my beads in this direction. I go exactly at the opposite side of my circle here. After I attach it to my other circle. And now I'm exiting here between my red and my yellow. And I think this is the center. And now I will attach my ear wire and in order to attach it I'm going to take one black bead. I'm going here through my ear wire, slide it down. I will take one more black bead here and I will go back in circle through this uh, bead here in the center. Okay. And now I'm going to reinforce my work. Oops, sorry, I went through one more bead in this direction. And now guys, I'm going to reinforce this joint here by going two or three times around it. And after that, I'm going to make a knot, cut my thread and my earring will be ready. And now my circular colorful seed bead earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials links to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.